Tottenham Hotspur have just announced the loan signing of Timo Werner with an option to make the move permanent in the summer. Chris Cowley. Fan Cows. Club News. Transfer News. Match Previews. Legend Interviews. Spurs Women. Press Conferences. Covering everything Tottenham and England. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. So Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have just announced the loan signing of Timo Werner. This is Tottenham Hotspur's first signing of this January transfer window. In the official statement, it states we are delighted to announce the signing of Timo Werner on loan from RB Leipzig, subject to international clearance. The Germany international will join the club on loan until the end of the season with an option to make the deal permanent in the summer. He will wear the number 16 shirt. Timo, 27, begun his early career at Steen Hardenfeld before joining Stuttgart's youth team, progressing through the ranks to make his senior debut in August 2013 in a Europa League qualifying fixture, becoming the youngest player in the club's history. During his time with Stuttgart, Timo made 103 senior appearances for the German outfit, scoring 14 goals and remains the club's youngest ever goalscorer after netting his first professional goal in the Bundesliga fixture in September 2013. A versatile attacker, he joined RB Leipzig ahead of the 2016-17 season, the club's debut season in the top flight of German football. An impressive campaign saw him score 21 goals in 32 games in all competitions for the Bundesliga side, helping the side to a second place finish and qualification for the UEFA Champions League. Since arriving at RB Leipzig, Timo finished as the club's top league goalscorer in four consecutive seasons and in November 2019 made Bundesliga history when he registered a hat-trick of goals and assists in an 8-0 victory over Mainz. During a prolific 2019-2020 campaign where he scored 34 goals in 45 games in all competitions, he earned personal recognition for his incredible form, claiming the Bundesliga Player of the Month award for November 2019 and December 2019 and a place in the Bundesliga Team of the Season. In July 2020, Timo signed for Chelsea and made his Premier League debut in September 2020 against Brighton Hove Albion, scoring his first goal for the Blues the same month. He made a total of 89 appearances for Chelsea, scoring 23 goals and helped the team claim the 2020-2021 UEFA Champions League, the UEFA Super Cup in August 2021 and the UEFA Club World Cup in February 2022 during his time at Stamford Bridge. He returned to RB Leipzig in August 2022 and claimed the 2022-2023 German Cup and the German Super Cup in August 2023. Across two spells with the Bundesliga side, he has made 213 appearances in all competitions, scoring 113 times. On the international stage, Timo Werner has represented his country across numerous age groups and earned his first senior call-up in March 2017, making his debut the same month. In 2017, he played a key role in Germany's Confederations Cup success, assisting the winning goal in the final and finishing the competition as joint top goalscorer. Timo has also featured for Germany in the 2018 World Cup in Russia and UEFA Euro 2020 and has earned 57 caps for his country, scoring scoring 24 goals to date. Now, Timo Werner has just had his first interview as a Tottenham Hotspur player. This is what he had to say. First of all, I'm very happy to be here. I've joined a very, very big club. We have often played against each other already. It doesn't matter if I was playing for Chelsea or Leipzig. They were always big, big games to play against Spurs. And now I'm happy to be a part of this team at the club. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. A lot of things attracted me here. First of all, the talk with the manager. I thought it was a really good talk. He gave me straight away the feeling that I need to join a club. What I want to feel when you talk to a manager and also the tactics and the style. How he wants me to play, how he lets the team play. For me, I thought straight away that that fits me perfectly. Then the stadium to play there. Every game is something special and also the team. I think we have some very good players. All of it was very interesting to me. 
I hope that I can be the best player I can be here. The people who have followed me a little bit in the Premier League, they know that I can bring my speed, that I can be a threat for the opponents. So that's what I want to bring into the team and off the pitch. I think I can be a funny guy and hope that I can arrive well into the team and that they're happy with me and my personality. One and a half years ago, I left England. I've watched the Premier League, not too much to follow every single club, but Tottenham was always a club which I watched. When I joined my old club, I said I wanted to be a winner and I wanted to win titles at the end. And in the end, we won the Champions League. So I think it shouldn't be too bad to say that I've come here to also want to win titles and to win something. Also, this was a part of when I spoke to the manager. That's important for him and it's important for me that I can play every position up front. It's always good when you have some players that can play in different positions who can change in the game. I think it makes it even harder to defend for the other teams if they never know who is coming in from this position now. So I think that that is one of my strengths to be flexible up front and to play every position. And that is a thing where I can also help the team. They were always very tight games against Tottenham, especially in the Champions League when I played my first game here. I think it was my first game in England when Leipzig uh, played Spurs at the new stadium. Straight away, I loved it. It was something really special to play there, to score there. And now this stadium is my home uh, and that is something really special. And I hope to play there um, as I did when I was with other teams. It should be even more special to score for Spurs as the home team and to have the whole crowd behind you when you score is even better. I'm really looking forward to the games. Now, my thoughts on this signing, Timo Werner on loan at Tottenham Hotspur until the end of the season. And then, of course, we do have an option to buy him for around 17 million euros. I think this is extremely clever business by Tottenham. Of course, there is no transfer fee uh, outlaid. Um, we then have an option to buy him if it is a successful loan spell. Of course, the player is going to want to give his absolute all. He wants to represent his country, Germany, in the summer at the Euros. He will want to play football. He will have so much energy and he wants to, uh, you know, give his all for Tottenham Hotspur. And most importantly, Ant Postacoglu wanted him. This is yet again we are seeing at the football club that Ant Postacoglu is handpicking players and we are getting the players that he wants in. Not club signings, players that Ange wants and players that Ange believes that they are going to fit his system. He certainly is going to do that from what we know about Timo Werner. We know that he can assist. We know that he can score goals. We know that he can play through the middle. He can play on the left. He can play on the right. He is extremely energetic. He is an extremely fit player. He can press uh, and he can attack. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing him in a Spurs shirt. He speaks so well, as, does, as, as have um, every single um, player that has signed for Spurs during Ange Postacoglu's six months at the football club. Um, another player who Ange has picked out. Another player who, uh, you know, Ange has told them exactly what he expects. And another player who cannot wait to play for our head coach. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to seeing him uh, make his debut away uh, at Manchester United on Sunday at Old Trafford. Hopefully, he can uh, make a real impact at Tottenham, um, you know, until June. And, uh, you know, if, if successful, we sign him. If it isn't so successful, then he goes back. Of course, it is a no-risk signing, this, for Tottenham Hotspur. I just hope that this is one of many in this January transfer window. And, of course, we get a player or two out the door as well. And one other thing I'll say is uh, if Timo Werner is half as good as our last German striker, then we are in for some good times. And, of course, that was Jurgen Klingsmann. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like, share and comment below. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. I'll see you in the next one. Come on, you Spurs.